Today I'm making chocolate from fresh cacao buds and make sure to watch the video to the end because the result is outstanding. And don't forget to comment down below what do you think about this video. First let's open cacao buds. Take a knife and with the back of the knife hit the cacao buds in the middle. This type of chocolate you won't get in any grocery stores. It's absolutely unique and you have to try to make it at least once in your life. Commercial chocolate that you see in the store use only 10% of chocolate. The rest is sugar, palm oil and other flavoring ingredients. I know it tastes good, but you don't get that full taste of real chocolate that you can get making your own chocolate from fresh cacao pods. Open the cacao pods, right away you can see seeds that are coated in white, slimy, sticky substance called baba. If you cut the bean, you can see cacao seed inside. You can even eat it raw. The taste of the baba is very similar to lychee. By the way, it's my favorite fruit. I love it. Remove the beans from the cacao pot into the sheet pan, cover with a towel and leave it for 7 days at room temperature to ferment at 72-74 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 22-23 Celsius. Make sure to move them around every single day with your hands. 7 days passed and cacao beans will look like this. You can smell the fermentation of cacao beans and that's exactly what we want to get. Now it's time to roast them. Place them in a sheet pan with a parchment paper. I roasted my cacao beans in two batches because I had roughly 5 pounds of it, which is 2.5 kilos. Preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 205 degrees Celsius, and roast them for 6 minutes. Bring the temperature down to 270 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 132 degrees Celsius, and roast for additional 20 minutes. The aroma in your kitchen will be the same as your baking brownies, and it means that you are doing everything right. Remove them from the oven and cool them down for 15 minutes. And let the fun begin. Peel the beans. Make sure to call everyone who wants to try your chocolate to give you a hand. And by the way, it will be a great DIY project for your kids. Everything is clean, you can even try one cacao nib. It got rich chocolate flavor. When you are making chocolate, it's good to use grams, because it's more precise. Take 200 grams or 7 ounces of cacao nibs, 60 grams, which is 2 ounces of sugar. Like that you will get dark 70% chocolate. If you have 100 grams or 3.5 ounces of cacao nibs, you will need 30 grams, 1 ounce of sugar. Place cacao seeds into the blender and blend it on low until it will turn into the powder. Add sugar and blend it more. Scrape the sides if necessary. You need to blend it until oils will start to release from cacao. But I couldn't achieve it with a blender, so I changed to food processor. So don't waste the time with a blender, just use food processor right away. Blend it on a low for 30 minutes, your chocolate will start to look like that. At this step add 3 tablespoons of coconut oil and blend it for another 30 minutes. Please subscribe to my channel, press the bell, press notify me to get notified about my tasty and delicious videos. If you see that the chocolate is still too thick, you can add another spoon of coconut oil. I blended everything for 1 hour and now it's time to temper the chocolate. Transfer the chocolate into the bowl, bring the pot with water to light simmer and place the bowl with chocolate on top of the pot with hot water. Temper the chocolate until it gets to 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 38 degrees Celsius. Tempering the chocolate will give it smooth and glossy finish. Take silicone chocolate molds, I got it from Amazon and you can check the links down below. Fill them with chocolate, make sure to spread it evenly. and place it into the freezer for 30 minutes.
30 minutes pass and my chocolate is ready. It looks exactly like the one you get in the store. Shiny and glossy. It got perfect sound when you break it. I tried it and it tastes great as well. Rich full body chocolate taste. And it's worth every second of your time.